Today we're going to talk about the Nash Equilibrium. The Nash Equilibrium idea was formulated by John Nash, who was the subject of the movie A Beautiful Mind. A Nash Equilibrium is a no regrets outcome. What that means is when, the other, when you see how the other person is moved, you don't regret your choice if you're in a Nash Equilibrium. And for it to be in a Nash Equilibrium, no one will regret their choice. In the game in front of you, AX is the only Nash Equilibrium. First, let's look. I put a D here and a D there because A and X are both dominant strategies. You should be able to see why. Now, let's imagine the two players write down what they want to do, then reveal. When player one sees that player two picked X, player one will not regret having written A because, well, you know, player one had written B would have gotten a lower payoff. So player one doesn't regret writing A when they find out that player two had picked X. Player two, similarly, doesn't regret picking X when they find out that player one picked A because given that player one picked A, player two gets eight from X but would have only gotten seven from Y. So the key, again, with the Nash equilibrium is that when you see what the other person has done, you don't regret your outcome. And if there's an equilibrium in which no one regrets what they did, given how the other person moved, then that can be a Nash equilibrium. Let's do another game, and why don't you pause the video and try and figure out what is the Nash equilibrium. There's one Nash equilibrium in this game, Try and figure out what it is. Okay. Now, in this game, A is a dominant strategy um, because A gives player one five no matter what, B gives lower than five, but player two doesn't have a dominant strategy because player two would say, well, look, if I knew A was gonna be played, I would want Y. If I knew B was gonna be played, I would want X. This game has one Nash equilibrium, AY. Now let's see why AY is a Nash equilibrium. Player one isn't gonna regret playing A. I mean, how could he? It gives a higher payoff than B no matter what. If player one plays A, player two would not regret playing Y because you know player one plays A, player two plays Y, player two gets seven, player two is not gonna say, gee, if I had known the other person would have played A, I would prefer to have played X and gotten zero. No, so this is not a no regrets outcome. So this is a Nash equilibrium. This, however, AX is not a Nash equilibrium, and let's see why. Player one doesn't regret, but player two does. If the parties end up here, player two would say, gee, had I known player one would pick A, I would not have gone with X. So I regret my choice given what player one did. So again, it's only a Nash equilibrium if no one regrets how they moved given what the other person does. So you know, and to play these games, both people secretly and simultaneously make their choice then reveal. If no one says, oh gosh, I would have done something different had I known, then you've got a Nash equilibrium. So this is a Nash equilibrium and this is the only Nash equilibrium in the game. Neither of these can be Nash equilibria because player one is always gonna regret playing B. Because you, know, you play B, you get two, you play A, you get five. All right, let's do another game. So again, please pause the video and determine the, num the Nash equilibria. There might be more than one. Okay, there are two Nash equilibria in this game, AX and BY. Let's, let's see, let's go through all four quadrants and see why we have this result. Well, the parties end up here. Player one will say, okay, I've played A, I get six. Had I done something different, well, I would have gotten zero. So I don't regret playing A. Player two would say, well, I played X, and because he played A, I ended up getting seven, but had I done something different, given that he played A, I would have gotten one, so I don't regret. So neither party will regret if they end up here. What about over here? Well, player one would say, gee, um, I played A, he played Y, darn it, if I'd known he'd play Y, I would have preferred to play B. So I regret, that makes this not a Nash equilibria. Player two also regrets, but you only need one person to not regret one person to regret to have a 
not be a Nash equilibria. This is not a Nash equilibria because player one will regret and player two, right? If player one and player two, they end up here, player one would say, had I known X would be played, I wouldn't have played B, I would have played A. I regret playing B given that X was played. And player two would say, well, given that B is played, I regret playing X because had I played Y, I would have done better. I would have gotten seven. Now, this is a Nash equilibria because player one will say, well, I'm getting six. Had I known he'd play Y, there's nothing better I could have gotten. So I'm happy getting six. So I don't regret playing B in response to Y. Player two will say, well, I don't re regret playing Y given that B has been played because I get seven, but I'd done something else, I would have gotten only one. So this game has two Nash equilibria, and, and quite often there can be more than one Nash equilibria. Let's do another game. Okay. Why don't you determine all of the Nash equilibria in this game, if indeed there is more than one. Okay. This game has two Nash equilibria. Now this one is easy. Most people accept that that's a Nash equilibria. If, you know, if player two plays Y, player one doesn't regret playing B. And if player one plays B, player two doesn't regret playing Y. So this is a Nash equilibria. But this is also one. And often when students first encounter games like this, they really resist. They think I've made a mistake. They don't think that this is a Nash equilibria. First, let me say, there's a difference between whether an outcome is reasonable and whether it's a Nash equilibria. Nash equilibria is a way of categorizing games. And you know, a lot of Nash equilibria are reasonable outcomes, but not all of them are. So you can't, it's not enough to say that can't be a Nash equilibria because reasonable people would never end up there. That, that doesn't relate to the, that's not part of the definition of Nash equilibria. But let's, let's explore why this is a no regrets outcome. If player two plays X, one does not regret playing A because, you know, given that X is played, player one is going to say, well, look, three is better than zero. And if player one plays A, player two doesn't regret playing X because, well, given that A is played, X is the best that player two can do. So I know you're thinking, but wait a minute, if they ended up here, they would regret not being here. This gets to a fundamental issue of what a Nash equilibria is and what it means to regret. In the Nash equilibria, you only regret based on what you do. You only regret you not having done something else. You treat what the other person does as fixed and alterable. So player one, if they end up here, would say, I, I have no control over player two. Player two picked X. There's nothing I could have done that could possibly have changed that. That's fixed and unalterable. Given that player two picked X, I'm not, I don't regret playing A. A. A worked out pretty well for me. And player two would say, I have no control over player one. If player one is going to play A, the best I can do is X. So this is why, again, the parties, this is a no regrets outcome. This is a Nash equilibria. You can imagine, you know, you both write down, you know, A and X are both written down. The parties reveal what they've done. No one's going to say, oh, gee, I wish I'd done something different. Because if you had done something different, your player two, you you'd done something different, you would have ended up here. So this is a no regrets Nash equilibria. And um, that's again, the key for Nash equilibria is you don't regret your actions under the assumption that what the other person did was completely independent of anything that you could have done. So given what the other person did is fixed or unalterable and it would have been the same no matter what you did, you don't regret your choice, and that, that holds here. Now, it doesn't hold for BX. Both parties would regret, right? If, if player two plays X, player one is going to regret playing B, would prefer to have played A. And if player one plays B, player two would regret playing X because player two would say, gee, had I known he played B, I would have played Y. And we get something similar here. So this game has only two Nash equilibria, but both are Nash equilibria, and it's important for you to understand why this is. Thank you and goodbye.